hello guys welcome back to the video player app series so already we have seen in the last video tutorial that is in our last updated video player app we have some bugs and the bug was that if we have a folder and that folder contains some files then those files we are showing in that folder but also some of the files that are present in the child folder of that folder also being shown inside that folder so we will solve that bug but before that we are going to redesign our folder item to show the number of files into that folder so here i'm going to just add an image view so just copy this image view and paste it at the top of this image view or below for showing the number of files inside that folder i'm going to give it an id means i'm renaming the id to make it different from the image view that we have already inside our root layout and here you can see this the image view and also i'm going to change this size means width and height and then we would like to change this drawable to some black color if we have drawable black color no there is no colors means there is no drawable created already so we have to create it by ourselves so just create a new drawable resource file and here i am going to write it let's say background and a drw then here we have to change it to shape so that we can make a color of shape rectangular etc and here i am going to write solid and then color here we would like to add a color let's say color has 9900000 means we have a color black color with transparency then we are going to give it a corner radius of some dp let's say 5 dp and then now we can close this now we can use this tribal over here so just write slash and that tribal name background drw that we have given and here you can see the image view at the left top corner and then also i'm going to give it some margins layout to start off the id of folder image and it should be to end of then we would assign some more attribute that is margin start so as you can see at the bottom this is already so i'm going to just assign it as minus 20 dp and then and here i'm going to align this image view to the bottom of the image view that is the folder image so just right align bottom and here pass the id of the folder image then we would like to add some margin bottom so here we would have to add margin bottom and then minus 10 dp no actually it should be plus plus 10 dp and now it is okay now i think this is done so first i am going to change this also 30 dp now its size is big then also i think we should have to change this margin start to some more minus minus 30 dp and now we can change this image view to the text view because we want the number of files inside this folder so we have to write a text view so also we have to change this src to background and now this is showing the background of this text view also change this to wrap content width and height also wrap content but this is gone so now come to the folder adapter and here we have to initialize first i'm going to create a method that will return the number of files inside 
so I'm a specific folder name so I'm going to write a method that is number of folder name which will return the number of files number of files and here I'm going to initialize a new for each loop so for video files dot get actually it should not work video files so I'm going to just delete this as of now we will implement it later so come to now the main activity and here inside our get all audio method get all video method and uh, here we have to cut these two lines and we will just add inside our folder list this path the ever path storage st card video directory slash abc that is the substring name so just we have to add this substring inside our folder list then we will implement our logic inside our folder adapter to show the folder as abc etc now i'm coming inside our folder adapter first i'm going to folder video folder activity and then here we will have to do so here we have to change some codes to show the files inside our folder which contains which contains only those files which are present inside the folder name so we have to add some logics but before that i'm going to run the app and see if the folder name is working properly or not and now here you can see the folder name as the path up till the folder name storage slash sd card slash whatever whatever then what we have to do first i'm going to folder adapter to show the only folder name and here inside our own bind view holder then here we will have to paste the codes means two lines of codes that we have cut it from the main activity get all video videos methods and just change this to folder name and also here folder name because the early list here is folder name we can change this to folder and also folder here past the folder as set text and also you can remove this so just delete this and also comma then leave it as it is now run the app and see if it is working or not means the folder is visible or not so here now you can see there are three folders and here when we will click on any one of the folder name it will show the files but it will also contain the files from the child folder so we have to change this means we have to update the code from the video folder activity to update this list of the files so now I am going inside our video folder activity and here we will have to change some logics here inside our get all videos method just pass a comma and just copy this display name and paste it here and change this display name to bucket display name here you can see this bucket display name and then we will have to get the strings from the cursor with the help of this line so just copy this and paste it and change this to bucket name and we will have to pass a different column index that is the c1 and now we will check if folder name what is the folder name here you can see this folder name so we have to write here folder name dot ends with some specific bucket name so basically it will do what it will get all the files from the media store database which ends with the folder name that is abc that is the bucket display name here abc is the bucket display name so now it will remove the redundancy now i am coming to the number of files method and here you will have to first create 
new variable that is the integer variable count files equals zero and then for each loop video files and then video files colon video files and inside this for each loop we will check if video files dot get path dot substring and then we will pass index 0 and then video files dot get path dot last, last index of slash and if it will ends with the folder name that we have passed as an argument of this method that is the folder name then we will increment the count files and that's it we will return the count files so this is the logic which will get you the number of files inside some specific folder and now i'm going to inside our my view holder means my holder class and inside this we will create a text view that is the counter files and we will link this from the folder item the id that we have given to the text view you can see this count files folder and now we will have to set the text over the counter files holder dot counter files dot set text and here just write string dot value of means we are converting the integer variable to the string variable so string dot value of number of files and here just pass the folder name dot get position and it will pass the folder name with that folder name which we are going to click so now i'm going to run the app and see if it is working or not so now the app is installed and here you can see this text view it is showing the number of files but it is in color black so it is not visible what we have to do go to the folder item and here just change this also width and height 2020 dp and also i'm going to give it a text color of white as fff hexadecimal color and running the app and see if it is looking good or not So now here you can see this the number of files but it is not aligned center so what we have to do inside our text view we will set gravity to center and again run the app and it should work fine now so now here you can see this everything is working and when we will click on it it will show the files related to that specific folder and not the child folder so that's it for the tutorial